Hi YouTube, welcome back. Well, I got a message from my friend Dee over at Naturally NC that she wanted to invite me to join in this collaboration. So of course I said yes. Stay tuned. This collaboration is a seed swap of sorts. It's called Share the Pack, Seed Pack that is. And it was started by Sandy over at Suburban Homesteader, Wyoming. And she gathered up some seeds and sent it away. Uh, this box has been to Marie at Salon Girl Gardens in Texas, Diana at Move North Homestead in Missouri, Anna at Mimsy's Garden in Mississippi, Kevin at Papa Pepper in Arkansas, Vicki and Sammy at Little Creek Homestead in Missouri, Jen at Davis Family Farm in North Carolina, Dee and Jess at Naturally NC in North Carolina, and now it's here to me in Ohio. And I, when I'm done with it, I am sending it to Mandy at Royal Amethyst Acres in Iowa. Now, there's this cool little book that has everybody signs in. That's how I know where it's been. This is a very cool little thing. It's, it's a good way to try out new things without having to buy a whole seed pack. And you just, you take a little bit out and you put a little bit in. And there are so many seeds in it right now, they barely fit in this box. There are, like your little sign-in book, you've got, there's the instructions, like we have to do a video on it, and there's little stickers, share the seed pack stickers, and little baggies, if you need baggies. And then there's seeds. There's all kinds of seeds. There are seeds from everybody. Everyone has put lots of seeds in this box. And it was really cool to look through all the different varieties. And Marie added this cool little box, which I guess at first the seeds fit in there. They don't anymore. <laughs> now they fill up the whole box. But that's really awesome. I am taking a lot of stuff. There was a lot of things that I wanted to try. For the most part, there was a lot of seeds and you only need a couple. So I just took a few seeds out. However, the first thing I wanted was this sweet potato from D at Naturally NC. And there was only one sweet potato in there. So sorry guys, I got the potato. <laughs> I've never grown sweet potatoes and now I will. I am excited. I've already picked out a place in the garden for them because she told me she was putting it in there. And I'm very excited about that. But I also took this book. My son already read it and he loved it. He wants the book. So thanks Papa Pepper. It's a very cute little story. But I wrote down everything that I'm taking and who I got the seeds from um, because like like this bag is from Mimsy's garden like everyone marked what they put in here so you know who you got the seeds from so when it's growing in your garden you can be like hey hey Anna Mimsy's garden you know this tomato does great here or it's uh, it, didn't last my winter, whatever. You can give shout outs and updates on the plants you're growing from the seeds you got from that channel. And it's pretty awesome. I am very excited. This, this is my list of the seeds that I'm taking. <laughs> oh, so many tomatoes, so many tomatoes. Like most of the tomatoes in here I did not already have. So there's lots of tomatoes to try. But 
I, I usually only grow like one or two of each variety, so there's still a lot more of those same seeds in this box. I'm taking some yucca seeds that Move North Homestead put in here and some Italian purple artichoke that Suburban Homestead or Wyoming put in here, some pickle bush cucumbers from Little Creek Homestead, some cylindra beets, um, Brunswick onions, and copia tomato from Davis Family Farm. From Naturally in Sea, besides the Georgia Red Sweet Potato, there's, look how pretty those are, Black Nebula Carrots, Space Master Cucumber, Shisho, and Big Rainbow Tomato. And then, Mimsy's Garden put in a whole lot of tomatoes. <laughs> a lot of tomatoes. There's Triple Crop. Cherokee Purple, Ananas Noir, I don't know if I'm saying that right or not, German Johnson, Mortgage Lifter, Ace 55, Black Beauty, Purple Russian, Rosa Sicilian, Black Plum, and Black Cherry. All tomatoes for Mimsy's Garden. And, you know, I just took, just took a couple out. The rest are still in there, so if you get this box after me, there's a lot of tomatoes. <laughs> but I'm very excited over the tomatoes. But I also took some Mammoth Red Rock Cabbage and Yamato Cream Melon, which is, I looked that one up because I had never heard of it. It is a white watermelon that kind of tastes like a pear. I'm excited to try that one. I'm definitely going to try that one. Uh, most of these I am going to try and grow at least a couple this year, except the artichoke. So I was looking at the artichoke. It's a perennial to zone 7, and I'm in zone 6, so I'm not sure it would last the winter. You can grow it as an annual, but if you do, you have to start it earlier than now. So, and it takes up a lot of space and needs a lot of light. And those spaces are kind of filled up right now. So this, I'm going to try it next year, but I'll have to start the seeds in February to try and get it to flower the first year. Then I'll see if I can get it to overwinter. And I'm really excited about that because I do like artichokes. But the yucca plant, I uh, was looking it up and it doesn't need as much sunlight as the artichoke. So I've got a back corner that gets afternoon sun that I'm gonna try and grow that there. And we'll see how it grows there. It may seem like I took a lot, but this is what I'm adding. I have been sending a lot of seeds to other people this year, so my supplies are a little bit dwindled and I didn't save seed from everything last year because I, I was trying so many new varieties I didn't want to uh, like bag them and uh, hand pollinate for some of the stuff but I didn't save seed for as much stuff as I wanted to and I really wish now that I had because sometimes I, I, I only have a couple tomato seeds to give because I didn't save any tomato seeds last year. But this year, with everything going on, I'm saving as many seed as I can this year, even if I have to bag every single flower out there and hand pollinate, but I'm saving seed. Now, as for what I'm sending, I've got some sweet corn, Some onions, these are short day onions. I accidentally bought them, not realizing they were short day instead of long day onions. And short days don't do well here. So, any of you people in the South, there's some onions for you. Uh, I've got 
the rest of my oregano because I have more oregano than I know what to do with out there out of five plants. So yeah, I don't need any more oregano. How about it? But I also found some pretty sweet pea and some delphinium flowers. I grew, I saved a lot of beans last year. We've got scarlet runner beans. And look how pretty these seeds are. Those are so cool. We've got some blueberries, cherry tomatoes. Purple Prince zinnias. Hibiscus. Sugar baby watermelon. Rich Sweetness 132 Melon. Siamese Giant Cucumbers. Lufa Gorge. Purple Potted Pole Beans. Calendula. Blue Curled Scotch Kale. Passion Flower. Valerian. Garden Huckleberry. Anyone who takes some Garden Huckleberry, don't eat it raw. You have to let the berries get fully dark purple and cook it. You can't just pop them in your mouth out of the garden. You have to cook them. Purple Basil. Thyme. Jimmy Nardello Pepper. Yellow Pencil Hot Pepper. Mini red bell pepper, jigsaw pepper, which is gorgeous, purple, little hot pepper, Cherokee tan pumpkin, <laughs> uh, mini bell, orange mini bell pepper, blah hilled pole beans. This is another purple bean, very, very similar, almost identical to the purple potted bean, cinnamon basil. Bloomsdale spinach, Rosa Bianca eggplant, mammoth sunflowers. My sunflowers, they were supposed to be like 10 feet tall. Mine were like 14. They were huge. Cumin, borage, echinacea, English lavender, purple tomatillo. Catnip. Nero. I'm not sure if I'm going to. I'm going to screw this one up. <laughs> Nero di Toscana kale. Serrano peppers. Holy basil. Ping tung eggplant. Sage. Purple beauty pepper. Virginia peanuts and some ginger. So, I'm excited to see what Mandy takes out of this and puts back in it. I will link everybody down below. Please check them out. Thank you, Sandy, for starting this collaboration. Thank you, Dee, for including me because I feel really special. It's like Christmas in May, okay? I spent all day <laughs> going through the seeds and picking out what I wanted and it was a lot of fun. So thank you for including me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and remember life's an adventure. Thanks for joining me and mine. God bless.